911, what's your emergency? My granddaughter has disappeared. She's nine years old. What's her name? Erica. And the last name? Baker. At what point did it hit you guys that Erica may not be coming home? Never. You have to prove it, honey. February 7th, 1999. It was an unseasonably warm but rainy day in Ohio. Nine-year-old Erica Baker put on her Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt, rain gear, leashed up her dog, and went for a walk. But she never came home. I looked under cars, I looked in bushes, all her friends' house, the school. 23 years later, she's still missing without a trace. I'm Nathan Edwards, anchor at Dayton 24-7 Now. I grew up miles down the road, and I'm the same age as Erica. This case shaped my childhood and many others. And I'm Bryn Caswell. I've covered Erica's disappearance for years. But despite decades of investigative work, thousands of tips, and even a jailhouse confession, no one knows exactly what happened that day. We just want to find that girl. Man, I know you do. And, and we want to validate like, your story. And I'm trying everything I can to help you. Christian Gabriel, he spent very little time behind bars for the disappearance of Erica Baker. Are you happy where this case is right now? No. She's not home. You guys took Gabriel out to Huffman Dam, correct? Yes. What was that experience like? Ultimately a waste of time. This podcast is the most in-depth look at the case to date. We have access to evidence the public and other media has never seen or heard. And most of all, you get kind of this weird vibe when you stand in here and look around, realizing that this van really is a key character in the case of Erica Baker. We're hearing Christian Gabriel's account in his own words. You guys are crazy. You guys are, you guys are blowing this out of proportion, man. So don't look at me that I did this and I didn't do it. And we're talking to people closest to Erica, some who have kept quiet for two decades. You don't want to live in a state of fear, but at the same time, it's like this happened in your own backyard or this happened to your childhood best friend like that you're attached to the hip to. So what will it take to bring Erica home? And what does justice look like 23 years later? Do we know the full truth what happened? I don't think so. I think there's more out there that's involved, but we just don't know yet. Join us as we investigate Missing Erica Baker. The first episode drops June 22nd. Follow the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or where you listen to your podcasts.